Comedian Donnell Rawlings is a DMV native who has been making people laugh for decades. He's also impressed as an actor in hits like Chappelle Show and The Wire. His first ever Netflix special, A New Day, debuted this week. Now Donnell is kicking off a new comedy tour with a show this weekend at Howard Theater. News Force Tony Perkins spoke with Donnell about what it's like coming home. First of all, you are coming back to town, Howard Theater, uh, March 3rd. Um, is it exciting for you to come home and to do a big show like this? Does it, does it, no, does no. It... You know what? To be quite honest, I hate it. No, I'm just joking. The reason why <laughs> I'm saying that, because you can lie to a lot of people, Tony, but you can't lie to those people that know you from you was 12 years old. You can't lie to those people that used to go to these go-go's with you. You're one of the guys, you're one of many guys, actually, who came from D.C., have made good uh, on the comedy circuit. Um, did D.C. help to shape your comedic sensibilities in any way? Oh, 100%. And I know as I get this question a lot, it's just something about the camaraderie of the D.C. comic. It's something about the the the, 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 the healthy competition. You know what I'm saying? We got the history. You got guys, Tony Woods. You got Tommy Davis. You got Martin Lawrence. You got Dave Chappelle. You got these people that, like, I'm not just saying this. If you look at the list of some of the most successful comics out there with the work ethics that are really, really funny. And I'm not talking about flash in the pants, the ones that have been able to stand the test of time. And the word these kids use so much nowadays to maintain relevance. You mentioned Dave Chappelle. Uh, you guys are good friends. Yeah. Um, your concert here is going to be the first show that you've done uh, since the debut of your Netflix comedy special, A New Day, which yeah. Dave produced. Uh, I know you tour with Dave. I know your friends. But tell me how that came to be, because he doesn't produce a lot of shows. Dave Chappelle is like, and this is what I respect about him. You get to a certain le le uh, a level of success. At some point, you got to give back. At some point, you should. It's one thing to put somebody on, but it's another thing to put somebody on that's qualified. And there's a lot of specials out here right now. But the thing that really feels good about this special for me is that it just feels good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you're going to look at a guy that's, that's, that's in touch with himself, that uh, does some self-deprecating comedy, observational comedy. It's okay to get old. Somebody say, Donnell, why don't you date with me your own age? I'm like, obviously, you don't know how old I am. I'm older than hip-hop. This whole cancel culture thing, um, do you think it's gone too far? Do you think it's too much to ask a comedian to only stay on the straight and narrow and not go here and not go there? I think that it went too far, but the other side of that, it had to go far for people to see how absurd it is. And particularly to my good friend Dave Chappelle, if you take one of his specials, right, and you ask 100 people how they felt about this special, you might get three people to say, he's this, he's that, or whatever, and hate on it. And you'll have 97 people that love it, but they're not going to put the focus on the 97%. They're going to put the focus on the 3%. But with this going on and on and how crazy it's getting, and I've seen, I've noticed the change. People are frustrated. They're saying enough is enough. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. And, uh, and March the 3rd at the Howard Theater, we all going to feel good.